Hi, welcome back to the Python Turtle tutorial. This is video number four. In the last video, we learned how to get input from the user and store it in a variable. We also use that variable to change our program. For example, we let the user change the size of the square. In this video, we're going to learn how to use conditions, which will allow us to do different things depending on what the user enters. So I have some code here to get input from a user. You can see that I'm storing that in a variable called choice. And this time I want the user to store a letter, not a number, which I had last time. So I haven't included the int, which we had last time. And this is just a, a bit of a silly basic example, but I'm asking the user if they want to see a shape being drawn. And I'm expecting a Y or an N as a response. So to make a decision based on the user's input, I have to use an if statement, like so. And there are a few things to notice here. Firstly, I've used the double equal sign to check if the variable choice is equal to the letter Y. I've also included quote marks around the letter Y, and I've ended the line with a colon. On the lines after this if statement go any code which I want to run only if the user entered Y. In this case, I want to draw a square, so I put my code to draw a square down there. Now to let the computer know that it should only draw a square if the choice was Y, I need to indent that code that draws a square. And to do that, I select the code and I press tab. And you can see there it's pushed over to the right hand side, which indicates that it's inside the if statement. How do I know what's inside the if statement and what's not inside the if statement? Purely by the column. So the lines of square to draw the square are indented across, they're moved across the page, so they're inside the if statement. If I start writing some code down in the first column again, that is no longer inside the if statement. So just to see that in action, I'm going to put a simple message down here at the bottom. I'm going to put print hello, and that's going in the first column, so that's outside the if statement. So that should get printed whether I enter Y or whether I enter something different. Okay, so let's see that program in action. On this first run, I'm going to enter capital Y, and you can see there it draws my square and it prints hello. Okay, let's run the program again. And this time I'm going to enter N. And you can see there this time the program only prints hello. Because choice is not equal to Y, it doesn't do the code in the if statement, but it does do the print hello because the print hello is outside of the if statement. In addition to the if statement, I can also use the elif statement, which lets me check for another condition. So I've got my if statement checking that choice is equal to Y. I'm going to put here elif choice is equal to no. That's my other option. And if choice is equal to N, I'm going to print a message just saying, OK, thank you. OK, let's run that program again. We can see that the Y works correctly. It prints the square. We'll run it one more time. And we can see that now that the N prints the message which we had. Of course, Y and N are not my only options because the user could enter anything. They could enter a random letter. So to take care of all those other cases, I'm going to use the else statement underneath the elif. And there I'm going to print a message just pointing out that actually that's not a valid option that the user's chosen. Okay, so let's run that quickly again. Here's Y. That draws the square. Here's N. That prints the appropriate message. And here's a random letter X. And that prints the error message. OK, so that's a very quick overview of how to use the if, the elif, and the else commands. I can have as many elif statements as I want. So if I've got lots and lots of different letters that I want to be pressed, I can check each of those with a separate elif statement. So the first activity I'm going to leave you with is here. And I would like you to write a program to ask the user what type of shape they want to see. And you can give them the choice of a square, a triangle, or a parallelogram.